Hello, my name is Abigail Wilson Heisel, and I am a sophomore and part of CFPA Dance 2 here at Colgan. This year has proved to be challenging for a great number of reasons, but a reason pertaining to dancing would personally be the lack of motivation. Without being in person, there's been little to no human interaction, which is what fuels motivation for me and other fellow dancers. However, with challenges comes triumphs that don't deserve to be ignored. The mere idea of having the resources and technology here at Colgan to be able to pursue dancing despite these trying times is surreal and deserves to be celebrated. As dancers, it's often hard to recognize our growth because dance is a type of art form that's foundation is built upon the idea of perfectionism, and that is simply unreachable. Regardless, I have noticed an overall increase in my ability to memorize choreography thanks to everyone's favorite, Zoom dance classes. Learning movements through a screen is ridiculously hard, but this year's circumstances have pushed me to be able to catch on to choreography much faster, and although it's been challenging, I'll be a better dancer in the future because of it. Even though I would never want to relive this year, clarity and beautiful moments have been shared throughout, and all dancers that have made it this far will come back stronger than ever before. Hi, I'm Julie Benanti, and I'm a senior this year, and what's been difficult was trying to just learn over Zoom and getting acquainted in a really small dance space compared to like the big studio. I'm impressed with how quick and easy I started learning the dances and just getting used to learning over Zoom. Hi, I'm Haley Benanti and I'm in 12th grade or a senior at Colgan High School. I found that the most difficult thing about doing dance online was definitely learning choreo or combos because personally I'm a very visual learner and I like to see things firsthand because it makes it quicker. But being on Zoom has definitely made that harder. So usually sometimes on Zoom the cameras will be inverted so when I'm dancing on my left it could possibly be the right and I'm just on the wrong foot. That goes to say while learning a dance online has been proven to be difficult it has also made me grow as a dancer. I think learning quickly and thinking fast on your feet is definitely a skill that's very important. Whether you're gonna do Broadway or you're thinking of doing anything in like the dance and theater musical industry. Hi everyone, my name is Emma Griffin and I'm a senior. Unfortunately, I am not able to attend this dance concert in person, but I'm with all of you in spirit. In the beginning of this year, it felt like the limitations of COVID were too difficult to overcome. Learning combos over the computer felt like a task I would never be able to perfect. I never understood which arm was up or which way we were turning, but we adapted and this house created a beautiful setup with multiple cameras to help all of us. Although it has been hard, COVID has pushed all of us to become better dancers. We had to figure out how to fix our mistakes by ourselves without Ms. Howe's guiding us through each step. It has also pushed us to become better at retaining combos, as we no longer had our friends right next to us to help us. So yes. Well, we felt like a roadblock in the beginning, but because of it, we've grown to become so much better. I can't wait to see all the new opportunities that come because of it. I hope you all have a wonderful show. Bye.
And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could see. And after several nights, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Then you would get more and more adventurous, and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. Finally, you would dream where you are now. Finally, you would dream where you are now.
Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here this evening. My name is Delaney Waltz and I am the president of the National Honor Society for Dance Arts or NHSDA. NHSDA is an organization that fosters an appreciation for dance as an art form by using dance as a means of community outreach. So even in the midst of a pandemic, we have still managed to maintain our impact in our community. We have taught a class at Children's National Hospital virtually. We also set up a program with them called Wake Up and Warm Up with Colgan Dance, where we sent in videos of students in the CFPA dance program doing a warm up that the patients at Children's National can follow along to. So that partnership with Children's National is really exciting and something that this organization is going to continue with in the years to come. We also have worked throughout the pandemic to foster a sense of community throughout the CFPA program. So we've had movie nights and viewing nights for concerts performed by other dance companies so that we can build a strong sense of community within the program. We also have a strong social media presence on Instagram, Twitter, 
and we're working on community classes right now for our special needs students, athletes, parents, and faculty members so that we can involve our entire school community with CFPA. In order to be in NHSDA, members have to attend two events that NHSDA puts on per semester, as well as actively participate in meetings and be a role model for the underclassmen in the program. So with all of that being said, I want to extend my most sincere congratulations to everyone being inducted this evening. We are so incredibly happy to have you and best of luck in the organization.
Hello, my name is Nikki Clem. I am in Dance 3 and Comp and Rep, and um, <laughs> I think I can speak on behalf of everyone at Colgan High School saying that this year has been absolutely absurd. Transitioning from in-person school to virtual school uh, was definitely quite a challenge for a lot, a lot of people, um, but I think the, specifically for those of us in the dance program, and I can speak on behalf of a lot of the choreographers in comp and rep right now that the challenges of choreographing virtually are something that we've never faced before. Uh, some of the biggest challenges you see is firstly music delay. It's a lot of us want to create really musical pieces where we're matching movements with accents. We want to achieve these qualities and communicating that across the screen is really difficult because it always feels like when you're playing music there's a delay and uh, sometimes people are lagging because of internet issues and other times people just don't have space. Like I'm, when I was, uh, before I was injured, I'm in my bedroom and I'm in like a, a four by four. So sort of moving around in our own specific ways, whether that be through really laggy zoom or we have space limitations have been some of the biggest challenges, whether you're choreographing or whether you're learning. Um, however, that's not to say that these challenges don't have their triumphs. You can definitely see throughout, uh, every group in the class, how people have started to overcome these barriers um, and create really cool and unique pieces, whether that be they've been taking extra rehearsals to learn the counts, they've been sending out videos, meeting externally with, uh, with each other to sort of create a piece that they're really proud of and that they're really confident in. There's, I've seen everyone in Compton Rep sort of take that extra step to go to that next level to overcome these challenges and these roadblocks that come with the online setting. Specifically, I know me and my partner, Madison, um, we've been working through this virtual medium kind of difficultly, I guess you could say. Uh, our piece, I know, is kind of musical, and there's beats and spe specificities that you sort of have to hit here and there, so the rehearsals in Zoom sometimes weren't enough. We've had to do socially distanced rehearsals, whether that be at school or at someone's studio outside of that, and then um, everything else, whether that's planning for music cuts, you're talking about title changes, descriptions, um, choreographing, a lot of that we've been doing outside of class just so that way when we're in class we can uh, uh, teach the material and sort of um, clean our dance to make sure it's the best that it can be. And um, I think we've become pretty comfortable with choreographing, not just me and Madison but the entire class because Throughout the entire year in Comp and Rep, we've been creating really, really cool things. Um, we started with these things called movement studies, which are, <laughs> Miss Howes talked about them, and it's basically creating these short, like, 30-second to one-minute pieces based off of an idea or a description of something. So, for example, we've had to do, like, poetry, images. Uh, there was a space-specific one. So, the space-specific one was really cool. Uh, everyone had to sort of pick a place that was outside of their normal area and choreograph specific to that space. So you had people in hammocks or coming down the steps, sliding under tables. So I think having that option at home sort of to broad or like broaden that 
uh, your choreography scope, I guess you could say, has really made uh, this year choreographing online, it's sort of made us a lot more prepared, I guess you could say. Overall, I, I just like to congratulate not only my class, but also the entire CFPA program. Congrats on making it to the show this year, guys. It's a, uh, it's been a roller coaster, but you all should be very proud of yourselves. Uh, we've persevered through the virtual setting. Good job, everyone.
Thank you all so much for being with us tonight. So, as, as, as you know, this has been a wild year. It's been a heck of a year. And I know all of you on the stage, all of my dancers in the audience, and all of our family and friends sitting with us, you walk this journey with us, you walk this journey with these dancers. Ooh. And as tough as it was, it was all worth it to get back here. So thank you so much for supporting me through this process of figuring this all out. Um, thank you for supporting your dancers and encouraging them through this incredibly trying time. I, I keep telling them I have no idea how I would have handled this as a 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 year old. I, I have no idea, but I don't think I would have as much grace as all of these dancers have had through it all, and I just could not be more proud. So thank you so much for joining us. Before I go on and continue just to weep <laughs> on the stage, I have to thank our tech crew, because without them, we could not have done this. They have volunteered their time throughout, and they helped to figure out all of these new protocols and, and the process through through this COVID show, and I could not, I could not appreciate them more. So, Sylvia, Lauren, Cooper, Ariel, Allison, Chandler, and of course, Mr. Watts and Mr. Ordway, thank you guys so much for helping us to make this happen. We couldn't do it without you, thank you. To my dancers. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get good at this. One of these days, today's not the day. Okay, to all of my dancers, you guys know what a process this has been. Dancing in your homes, in your basements, in your kitchens, in your bedrooms, and you came together somehow with magic to, to put on one of the shows that I will be most proudest of my career because you guys stay committed to each other. We talked a lot about motivation this year and how it's been really challenging uh, being in this isolated setting but the one thing that never wavered was the commitment and it was the commitment to this program to each other and to themselves and I am just so proud that you guys fought through this to get here <clears throat> it was worth it it was worth it and you're stronger because of it I am stronger because of it I'm inspired every day by all of you so thank you for showing up every day. Even on days that I thought it was gonna be too challenging, you showed up and we showed up for each other and this was the product and it was perfect. It was perfect. So Cooper, if you could take the house to half, I'd like all of my dancers in the auditorium and on stage as well to take one more ensemble bow. Ladies and gentlemen, please, for our CFEA Dance Ensemble. They have worked so hard, and you know that. And you know that. Those who are here with us tonight, you know how hard they've worked, so thank you, dancers. And now for you guys. <laughs> so I know we all envisioned our last concert would be a little bit different, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we have tonight. We have this memory forever, and you didn't let it go. You fought for it. You fought to be here. There's uh, a lyric in their piece that says, um, someone's gathering every crumb you drop and the memories that sometimes you've long forgot, keep them all. And I hope this is a memory that you will never forget. And I hope you'll keep all of these, even through the difficult times we've had this year. Keep them all because they are part of your journey. They made you who you are. You guys are the strongest young women and men that I've ever met in my entire life, and you're gonna change the world. And so that's now, now that's what's ahead of you. And I'm gonna tell the story again because I just think it's worth noting. Four years ago, <laughs> this freshman class started their winter concert with us, and in the middle of their piece, the music stopped. The music stopped. And to my absolute shock and just most proud mama moment I had had, um, they kept dancing without any question, not a, not a direction from me, they just looked at each other and they kept going. And I think that's an absolute beautiful metaphor for the, the year that we've had. The music stopped last year and we kept dancing, we kept dancing for each other, we signed onto Zoom, we kept figuring it out with dancing around, again, our kitchen tables, our beds, everything. We kept dancing and they said to me, um, so beautifully before the show that um, I was their music to keep dancing. 
last year. And, and they were mine. And I just hope so much that through the rest of your life, you find the people who are your music. In the moments that you think the music is stopping, there will always be people who will be the music for you. And you've been that for each other, and you've been that for me. So thank you for that. And I'll never forget it. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2021. They're gonna change the world, people. <laughs> They're more prepared than I could have ever hoped to be coming out of high school. So thank you all so much for being here. You helped to make this night so memorable. So our show is officially over, our spring concert 2021. We did it. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you again. Our ushers are going to um, escort out by sections. Um, if you would please meet with your dancers out in the amphitheater area so we can maintain distancing. I appreciate that so much. Senior parents, you guys are going to stick around for a photo op. Dancers, you are good to go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great rest of your evening. Thank you, Ms. Howes, and thank you, dancers. If you are sitting on the right-hand side of the auditorium, you may now exit. Thank you for coming. The right-hand section of the aisle. So if you were sitting in the middle section, please stay.